As the world shifts towards renewable energy sources to fuel the future, investment in solar power has never been more key to provide a viable source of clean energy. Next Energy Capital Group, a global renewables fund manager, is behind the UK's largest solar farm ever constructed and energised. It's called Llanwern. It's in Wales. And the specialist fund manager says it's about supporting the unique biodiversity around it. We went there to find out more. To get a true sense of Llanwern's size, you've got to go up. Three fields of solar panels spread across the Gwent levels, a wetland landscape bordering the Severn Estuary in south-east Wales. It's a 75 megawatt solar farm. Um, it's the largest operational solar farm in the country. It's particularly interesting because it's strategically important for the UK's net zero ambitions. It's the first solar farm at this scale to be built without subsidy. The power generated here isn't just green, it's competitive. Solar is now cheaper in the UK than power from fossil fuels. Solar farms offer more than this, though at first glance they may seem unnatural, but look closer and the land they occupy is healing. Solar is very unique in its ability to protect and enhance biodiversity. It's a section of land, uh, 200 acres in this case, which is fenced off from general traffic, taken out of the agricultural intensive farming cycle, and then maintained with low traffic over a long horizon. And that means you can really do impressive things with biodiversity. That's certainly the case at Clanwern. Bird and bat boxes, crossing bridges for cranes, wildflower meadows, the waterways called reams are being cared for, and land is being set aside so lapwings can nest. The force behind Lanwen is Next Energy Capital. We have three business units. Uh, we do green and brownfield asset development. We have an operating asset management business. And lastly, we raise institutional capital to acquire solar projects across the globe. CEO and founder Michael Bonte Friedheim explains what sets them apart. As a solar specialist, you will not find anyone that is active across the three business areas that we are active in. We have a team of 200 people. We are spread across regions and we have solar assets across the continents from Portugal to the US to Chile to India, Poland, Italy, the UK and Spain. We are active in all those markets. And with 15 years experience in the solar sector, we have a base of expertise that no one else can even come close to. It's this specialism, says Next Energy Capital's head of investor relations, that investors are seeking. I think when an investor wants to invest into solar, they really want to look for an experienced manager in that. You know, there's a lot of in other fund managers that might have had a different strategy before and have started investing into wind or solar, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but they just don't have the, you know, the track record that we have. Next Energy Capital believes this expertise helps position their clients at the vanguard of a sector that's growing fast. We believe that solar being the highest growth sector within renewable energy represents very attractive growth opportunities. Now solar is estimated to account for roughly 40% of power generation by 2050, up from about 4% today. And so you can see that there is very significant incremental investment required in this sector to achieve that estimated outcome. We want to be part of that revolution. We want to contribute to that growth. Next Energy Capital also puts environment, social and governance at the heart of everything it does. We can look at the funds that we've done since 2014, but we can also look back and show investors what we did before 2014 and show investors the assets that we invested into back then. So I think that provides a lot of comfort and importantly so for investors. ESG and impact investing is very, very important for investors at the moment. Obviously, we, we are ticking the E in ESG. There's no problem there. But the fact that we look at the S and the G and take that so seriously as well, and we, we've you know a dedicated team for that and also got a very good track record. Julia Guidi leads that specialist ESG team. We start from selecting sites based on the biodiversity value, for example, um, as well as presence of any cultural heritage that we want to preserve. Then we continue to make sure that we perform our surveys and assessment to identify environmental and social issues up front. And then we can discuss potential mitigation plans um, ahead of each investment. 
It's an approach that should reap big rewards for the investors powering the solar energy revolution and for all of us relying on a net zero future to combat climate change.